Our app is going to use components that are part of the Windows Phone 8 SDK, and we can work with these components to attach logic and functionality using C Sharp. First, we have the layout of our app, which is created using XAML. The top app name and page header are part of the built-in app template that we just customized with our own text. The background image is called an image brush that we will add to our app background and point to a bitmap we will import into our project. Next, we have a number of text blocks that will serve as our labels for the various fields and sections of the interface. The amount of the bill is entered into a text box, which we can constrain to certain types, which change the layout and options of the on-screen keyboard. The user then taps one of the five buttons to determine the tip amount they want to provide to their server. These are basic buttons that we will attach specific functionality to. When someone selects these, we will display the calculated tip and the grand total of the bill using additional text blocks. But we will use a formatter to display these using dollars and cents. Behind the scenes, the logic we will create in C Sharp will take the value the user enters in and convert it to a number, since in a text box it is considered as letters and numbers or a string. We will then work with a few variables in the project to calculate the tip and then convert them back into text to display in the text boxes. While that covers the basics of what we're going to make, there are other steps that are involved in creating an app, and we'll talk about those in the next video.